Hey everyone, I am Izzy Noodles and this is the bonus level of Jungle Ruins 2. Find the gold skull secret in each level and you can access the bonus level. So obviously where the Nomads challenge is possible, I like to accept the challenge and this bonus level is possible but it's incredibly difficult and because of that I'm not doing live commentary this time simply so I can focus on the game. So in a lot of places I have reloaded too many times to count and even gone back to a previous section to see if I can make my health better. So I'm gonna do my best to make the video look as smooth as possible and I will not include how many attempts it took me when I keep dying or reloading just take my word for it, it's probably quite a few. So here we are in the starting area of the caves level. So we've got this room, this is where we lit the torch at some point, and there was that blatantly obvious block right there. So we can come around the block into the other room, what we actually want to do is push the block onto that odd tile and the door will open. So we do have to do this a very long-winded way. We have to push it all the way around. Okay, so there we go, the door is open, and this is where we're going to place our five gold skulls. You see the skeletal torsos around the room? So this is where we're going to put them. So you place one, and it's shown you that main ladder in the previous level. And again we see the view, so obviously something is going to happen there. So I'll place all of these and then we will see what's happened. So for these jumps you want to press the grab button because the ceiling's a bit low in places. So just to be sure you're not going to bang your head and fall down into the lava. And also aim for the right a bit because uh, you might not make the distance there. For that particular jump I meant. <laughs> So we've got some shaking now. So I wasn't clear when I was talking about the jump. So this jump, just make sure you're, you know, doing as shortest jump as possible. Something like that. So now we don't know what's happened, but we are going to go back to the previous level and see what has happened. So come on through the gate into the previous level and we've not had a load screen. So if you save your game, this I assume will technically still be the lost caves. But now all these blocks have fallen away and there's a door here. So pull the lever and the door will open. And you can enter and slide on down. And this is the bonus level. Okay, so come on through to the main area. And I will give a tour just so you can see what we've got in this main area. 
So there's a gate on the right hand wall just there. Just there we've got a gate on the right hand wall and a keyhole just in front, just behind the waterfall. You just see that. Three receptacles for snake stones there, so that's what we're doing in this area. We're going to find some snake stones and we've got an open doorway opposite. And another big gate here and you can hear a panther inside. So there is only one panther. Anytime you hear a panther, it's the same one that's stuck inside that room. So first things first, come through this door because it's the only thing we can do at the moment. So you've got two sections of water here and across the way there is a gate that needs a jungle stone. And in this side there is actually an underwater lever but we don't need to pull it yet so I will ignore it. So jump in on the right hand side we're going to go find the jungle stone or jungle gem. So there's this little passage, swim on through and be careful here because the skeletons on the ground are spike traps. So just do your best to go around and let's have a look at my weapons. There's no Uzi ammo left but you do have plenty of shotgun shells to last you until the end so get a big weapon ready because you've got all these yetis so best thing come into this slightly more open room jump around there is a slab with fire so try not to jump onto that oh I took damage so I'm gonna reload because I know you can do this without taking damage So just keep jumping around. Press the look button to target a different yeti. Okay, so when the last one's banging its chest, just put your weapon away and get it out again. And there we go. So no damage taken yet. So we want to climb the room. The jungle stone or jungle gem is at the top. So you can stand on the corner of this. So just be careful you don't move too far into the middle. Do a standing jump to here. And then here. And obviously the next one but be careful there is a skeleton do not climb up that is another spike trap so just shimmy along until you see the pedestal right there we can stand on that and here is the jungle gem but I suggest you save <laughs> because we're gonna get some electric wraiths they make a horrible noise and just try and get down as fast as you can. It's not easy when you've got to shimmy. So make sure you are all the way around the corner before letting go of grab. And now just try and run to the water. Try not to run in a straight line, even though it's difficult when you've got all those corners as well. And there we go, it's gone. So to climb out you can only stand on these slabs that are either side of the bridge section. And let's place the jungle gem and we can head on into the next room. So these slopes are actually incredibly annoying. They're a bit difficult. I think I get it on the second attempt. Yeah, because I was at an angle, so she had her back to what I wanted to grab. So you're using these slopes to grab that. <laughs> and you've got these fire platforms. So this lever in front of Lara turns off the fire, but it is timed. So we're going to use these slopes to jump to the next ledge. 
So when you're ready, just hop back diagonally and then just easy peasy. So that is a lot easier than trying to get up there. So follow this and this is where it's going to turn into a nightmare if you are trying to do the no med pack run. So there is a big hole here. If you hang and let go, you will take a lot of health off. But there is a ledge. If you just run forward and grab, you will minimise your damage by landing in that little section. So also just grab a large med pack in the corner. And make sure you have a separate save here because you're going to do a lot of toing and froing. <laughs> there is a sea hag in the water. So this open section where you can jump in is a safe spot. The sea hag does not come over. And uh, yes, yeah, so you can't actually coax it over and climb out and then shoot it. You are forced to have to, to deal with this. So do your best to try and bring it over to this side and then rush to the opposite side. There's a lever that we want to pull. So it does not open this door just to the right. It actually floods that higher section we've just come from. And also I recommend not doing a roll just there. So I am gonna, I believe I reload. Yep, there we go. <laughs> So to come away from the lever, don't do a roll because you are still sat in the same spot for a bit too long. So try and swim away. The most movements you do, the better. I think that makes sense. I don't even know if that makes sense. But basically once you've pulled this, you want to return back the way you came. So that time it got a one hit less on me and that was actually the best I've done yet <laughs> so that was a quick save right there. So keep swimming, there is another sea hag and this one's really annoying, you have to climb out as fast as you can. There we go. So opening the lever, uh, pulling the lever has also opened up this doorway to give access to that lever and now that door down below has opened. So we also have to come back <laughs> past the two sea hags. Go away. Oh, this one's up this end, so that's lucky. Because it can go into the newly opened room. If it's in there, you actually want to wait for it to come out and then try and swim past it. So stick to the right, because you can climb out and then kill it. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no, no. <laughs> So in case you fall in, you're not too um, confident on your feet, feel free to save now that you've finally come all the way here. And take your time and kill this sea hag. So because there's that ledge underneath, the one that I got stuck under, you might want to keep swapping sides in case the sea hag is stuck under the ledge. There we go. So now, have a save. <laughs> Oops. So let's see what's in this room. So we actually want to get up to the fire level. So we're going to raise a block that's right there in the middle. And yet we have to hop back into the water. So now we're going to go down into this opening. We do have enough breath to get there and back. It's not a tight swim, but we're going to pull a lever. And once we do that, we'll have another sea hag. So here is the lever. 
And just so you know, directly opposite this lever is actually another gate. Just so you know it's there. So this can be very difficult. So do your best just to swim straight forward. To start with, you can sort of swing from side to side to try and fall it, but then stop doing that when you get closer. The reason is uh, you'll swim faster if you're swimming in a straight line, so you'll be able to get past the harpy, the uh, sea hag, a bit faster. But I took a bit too much damage for what I wanted. So, reloading. One hit less than last time, it looks like. So I've noticed sometimes... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh. Um, I've noticed the damage from a sea hag can vary, which is a bit weird. Sometimes they are big hits and sometimes they are little hits. Okay, so now the block is raised and we can reach the higher level. So just be careful as you climb up because there is a lot of fire. So you're better off moving when the fire is out. And there is this large med pack sitting right here. So what we're going to do here, we want to move the block onto the tile that Lara is standing on. You can see that's slightly odd from the rest. And we're going to put it from Lara's left side. Because the flames have a longer interval on the left side. For some reason. I don't know why. Oh, I'm on fire. So do feel free to keep saving. Nothing wrong with that. So make sure you're ready, just grab the block. We're gonna wait until the flames come back and gone out again. And the very moment the flame has gone, start pulling. Okie dokie, so now just drop down but don't drop down too close to the block because you can end up standing inside the block. <laughs> it's happened to me. So grab the block again and wait for the flame. The moment the flame has gone, start pushing. Also, from this point, one more hit and I'm dead, <laughs> I think. Near enough, anyway. One or two. So, you do have to be incredibly careful if you want the challenge. And have to have a lot of patience. So, I don't recommend it. <laughs> I just want to show that it's possible. But you might want to quit your job and just sit and do nothing for the rest of your life, just for your own satisfaction. Okay, so once the block is on that spot, you can drop down. And what it did is open up this doorway in the corner and give access to this lever. Ah. So we saw the first snake stone just there. 
we've opened an underwater hatch and the hatch is actually directly opposite that underwater lever we've pulled so just make your way there there's no more sea hags on the way So it is very easy to get stuck underwater, but here's a closed gate, but above that is this opening. Here we go. First snake stone. So once you pick that up, the other gate that's right here has opened. facing the wrong way. <laughs> There's that lever that we've pulled previously. So there is another sea hag on the way out of here. So just avoid it. Try not to get hit. If you do, you're going to want to reload. So as I've said, it's incredibly easy to get stuck in any underwater area. So just do your best. Sheer willpower will only get you through this. Okay, so here we are back in the area. We've been here before, so climb out as fast as you can. And kill. 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 So this is where we found the jungle stone, jungle gem, and placed it to open the next gate. Okay, so once you've dealt with that, you can hop back into the water and pull the underwater lever that I mentioned earlier. Because you could have pulled it, but I ignored it. So let's go ahead and pull it now. And we can see what that did. So that's opened a gate back in the main area. So climb on out and make your way there. Here we are. Okay, so in this area we've got a couple of pickups of shotgun shells. So I don't remember if I meant to go into the water or, or whether I fell by accident, but there is this key that we need. So this is actually just for the next gate up on the wall there was the keyhole, I pointed it out. Also in this area there is another large med pack. So now we actually have um, a torch on a pedestal and we can light that by the campfire. So this isn't actually a torch to be used, we're only using this as a light source to save on the flares. So do be careful as you're lighting torches so you don't get set on fire. I am I'm having a bit of trouble <laughs> trying to get close enough and not be set on fire. There we go. And I'm actually going to do this the long-winded way to conserve my health. So I'm not going to use the torch yet. I'll rely on a flare. So I'll just leave that there where I know where it is. Save the game. And when we get so far, we're going to spawn a Velociraptor on this tile by the wall lamp. So run out so you've got some space and then kill it. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna run back in without the torch again. We're gonna spawn another raptor. So I just quick save just there. 
So yeah, I've sped this one up because it's tedious. So the one tile I landed on is the one that spawns the raptor. Okay. And as you can see, I am taking the torch this time. So when you're in a fluent movement, such as if I've lit a flare at the start of here and start running, and I have not taken my finger off the the you know the forward button to keep running, and my flare runs out, then she'll keep the flare in her hand. That's something I've realised while practicing this. I forgot about that raptor. <laughs> So I'm going to try and kill it in this section. But Lara cannot light a flare while she's already got a flare in her hand. So that's why I do go back for the torch and don't rely on the flares, simply for the no med challenge. So you can do if you're not bothered about meds. So let's try and find this raptor. He's got himself stuck, but we can see we are now at the end of the line. Here is our second snake stone. And I thought I'd save my shotgun shells <laughs> if it's stuck. Okay. So I'm going to go back and grab the torch. Okay, so I momentarily forgot you cannot pick the item up while you're holding a torch, so um, just drop it down behind you. And the moment we pick this up, we will spawn a native. So grab it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to run outside. And he is right behind me the the entire way there. Rude. So in this level, the natives can only be shot in the chest. I took a wrong turn. That was lucky. <laughs> so yeah, they're not easy again in this level. So it's quite strange that they mix it up. But be warned that you can only shoot them in the chest in this bonus level. And now we don't need the torch, so it's absolutely fine to yolo yourself into the water. So keep getting in and out of the water, that's an okay thing to do. But here for some reason she did str struggle to shoot him in the chest even though he is directly in front of her. So that's the reason I sped this up, it just took forever simply because it only seemed as though she was shooting him as she was jumping to one side. So you know when you're shooting him because you can see like a, a green spark come from his chest. Okay, oh, I was too keen there. I went to jump and he already died. So he does drop a large med pack. You can actually easily just ignore him and run straight out. But I wanted to show that he does drop a large med pack. But now if you've not got the key from the water, now is the time you want to go grab the key. Because we're going to use it just here. And then this gate will open. Head on up. Ok, 
Okay, and this jump you want to be a bit careful with. You want to aim for the left side of that ledge. You see it's a little bit lower on the left. And we're going to be heading into that where the waterfall's coming from. So we will be opening that. And the lever to do so is actually directly in front. You can't really see it on the wall. So before I pull the lever, I will actually deal with a few things. Well, that was embarrassing. And I just wanted to keep that in because it made me laugh when it happened. <laughs> Yeah, he'd got himself stuck, so I thought I'd try to go near him to unstick him, and he just instantly killed me. Okay, so do a better jump across to here, and on the right-hand side there will be an evil monkey. I do love the evil monkeys, they look really cool. So I'm also going to spawn one of the electric wraiths just to get it out of the way. So on the wall, on the left of this structure, there is a receptacle you can just see. It was where the monkey was. Well, not quite, but jumping over spawns it and you want to immediately drop down. And then the wraith will follow you down and land straight in the water. So it's just easier to deal with it now. So you don't have to, but it's just easier for the long run. Okay, so now I'm going to head to the lever and prepare for the timed run, and it's very tight. So jump to here, and from here you actually want to do a half tile jump. If you do a standing jump, you will not make the jump, and a running jump will overshoot. So you do need to do a half tile jump, just to here. And here's the lever. So pull it, roll, and you do need to do a four-step running jump, so count her steps before jumping. Ooh, nearly messed up, but it's fine. Well, sort of. Probably lost the run. <laughs> it's a very tight run. So sprint for a little while, as you can see I did there, and now just keep jumping here, and then jump with a curve, pull up. No, pull up. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a, a tight kind of pull up into the gap as well. So count four steps and then jump. Hop there, and then running jump to there. Sprint along, and then don't forget to take your finger off the sprint button so that you can jump. And now just keep jumping. It's more accurate jumping instead of sprinting. And then curve and pull up. Don't shimmy, pull up. And I recommend doing a roll like I just did to guarantee that you get into this gap. And save <laughs> so you don't mess up and have to do it again. So straight ahead is actually the return path, so come left into here, and there will be a native, so you want to shoot him in the chest when he spawns. So just keep jumping. If you jump over him, like just keep hopping back and then jump over him with a roll, that is more successful in this enclosed space. I done goofed. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> so he does not drop anything.
but now continue along the path, make your way down here. And we do have some death water at the bottom. So we want to jump across the tiles. So it can take some practices to know where the tiles are. So it's a run and jump, run and jump, get to the edge and do a standing jump. That was close. Another standing jump, run and jump. Do your best on that corner bit. I cheated a bit and <laughs> ran across the corner. And the last few speak for themselves, really. And let's run and jump to here. And you can grab the third snake stone. And now the water is deadly no longer. So you're just going to backtrack to the part where you entered this section. I already pointed out where the return path is to get out of here, so that's where we're heading. So you can easily run through the water, if not just jump on the spot so that she runs and you will hit some deep water here. And we've got an edge as well, so I recommend jumping up so that she can run because when you're trying to walk to an edge when she's wading in deep water, it doesn't always have the desired effect. <laughs> so you can safely hop off as you can see and you will land straight down below. So this is where we picked up the silver key inside the water. You see the dark passage and where we got the torch. So now let's go ahead and use the three snake stones. Okay, so that has opened that last main door in this area. So the panther is lurking behind there, but you can easily kill it. It doesn't even take many shots. There we go. <laughs> so mine the skeleton. That's again a spike trap. No items. In the pots you can probably shoot them, but there's no items. So in here, you don't want to drop straight down from this ledge. You will take a tiny bit of damage, but also you will spawn some wraiths. So you want to do a magnificent swan dive instead, straight into the water. And there is a large med pack somewhere here. There it is. Okay, so once you grab that, just climb out of the water. So there aren't really many places, well there actually are many places to climb out. So that's only half true, I don't know why they said I said there's not many, because there's a lot. But we're going to start climbing. So jump to here and then again forward to there. Try and jump forward, you'll reach it better. And then straight up again, you want to be on this slightly higher tile that I'm on, otherwise you will not reach this, you won't jump high enough. So I got a bit lost for a second. <laughs> We're going this away. And I was about to say, but I realised I don't need to, it's fine. But um, I done goofed right after thinking I'm fine. <laughs> Forgot to grab. So I kind of smacked Lara in the face. So let's save anyway, just for luck. So grab this slope and then we're going to jump from slope to slope. Okay, and then to here. Whoa. Good job I saved. So this one is a running jump. There we go. 
So when you get to here, you might be a bit lost, so you can't pull up because that's too high, and you certainly don't want to go to the left because that's a spike trap. So we're going to jump over to here. So we're going to make our way across the tightrope, and then let's climb the ladder that's at the end. So you might wonder, why am I bothering to climb the tightrope? Uh, walk across the tightrope, rather. So the uh, the reason is the death skulls <laughs> either side. If you stand on them, you'll be set on fire. So you are forced to use the tightrope. Okay, and you can jump off a bit sooner. I just forgot. <laughs> when you're at the top, not the very top, because Lara will bang her head. You can flip off. Okay, another quick save just because we want to grab the star that's in the fire. So, to do that, we pull this lever on the right, which turns off the flame in front, so we can pull that lever, but it is timed. But pulling that lever will turn off the fire on the opposite wall, so we can pull that lever, and then this fire will turn off, and we can pull that lever, which will turn off this fire, and we can pick up that temple star. So we've already seen where to put that. That goes where we summoned the wraith. So save, I recommend saving. Do a half tile jump to this first one. Run and jump. So these are all timed. Hop the gap there into a running jump. Okay, so pull this and then you want to veer as you jump so that you don't land near the flame it's just quicker so you will have to grab and then pull up hop the gap run and jump to here and then run back and it will be a bit difficult to judge how to veer on that last jump but this is not timed you can stand on this spot as long as you like so now we've got this we can leave this area so just jump back to this lever in particular, closest to the door. And this jump is actually incredibly tricky. You want to be about half away along that tile and just do your best to do a standing jump into the doorway. So it's not easy. There we go. It actually took me a lot of attempts. So don't forget this has not been a smooth run. I have tried many, many times to do a lot of these tricky looking things. I've just cut it down to a simplified version and I've not bothered to count how many times it took me to do things because I didn't want to, to count. So, the receptacle, if you forgot, is just here. It's easy to forget because we ran straight past it both times. So there are two doors behind just over here so they have both opened and it doesn't matter which one you go through they both lead to the same room. So come on in, you will see a lever, but don't pull it yet. There are some items to grab. So there's some shotgun shells either side of it. Oh no, that's a med pack. So shotgun shells, med pack, and there is some more shotgun shells. Here we go. So straight across the way on the left side of the screen there's a gate. The lever will open the gate, but uh, it will let in some raptors and the gate will actually shut immediately. So we have to kill the raptors first. So I'm going to equip my shotgun. So I did save there, but I made a mistake. <laughs> and again, I want my shotgun ready. And we'll see this cutscene, but I'm going to save again after the cutscene so I don't keep having to watch it. 
also electric race as well. Yep, I think it's just one. Another quick save, as I said. And this. Just take your time. Keep moving. Because you've got the wraith after you as well. It's very difficult to kill the wraith. And I've actually already took a bit of damage, which I didn't want to do. But I had a clumsy death anyway, just there. <laughs> Keep moving about, keep jumping, take your time, try not to make any silly jumps. There are also spike traps, you see the skeletons on the ground? Those are spike traps. It's incredibly difficult to get rid of the wraith to get it to land into one of these pools because these pools are deadly so you can't even go near them. But it can be done, but only by like trick shots, so to speak. So I've not bothered to speed this up. I let this play normal speed so you can just watch what I'm doing. If you see any good moves. I don't know if I actually do make any good moves. I don't think I do. But honestly, take your time. Don't try and rush through this section. So if you do struggle to do this nomads, this will be the breaking point where you quit. And it's all down to the sea hags. It really is. And I actually did run out of shotgun ammo after saying that you do have enough. And I think it's the room where I use the torch, the long dark passage, because I used the shotgun there. I think that's what it was. So don't use the shotgun there, and you will have enough ammo for this section as well. Another close jump for oh. hoo hoo. Okay, so they are down. I think I just took a bit of damage there. So this is still more of a, a practice run. So I do try and remove the there are two of these. Uh, jungle stars, so I do try and remove them, see how well I do that while the wraith is still after me. So, first one, so far so good. Even though I have lost more than half of the health that I had when I entered the room. Quick save after collecting the first one. So I'm trying to run around and guide the wraith away. But I am already dead as I'm getting this. <laughs> okay, 
so this is before I picked up any stars and I've actually played and played and played and reloaded and I threw a paddy so I started shooting at the wraith because <laughs> this is a, I'm about to actually give up but as you can see my tantrum has worked out for the better and the wraith is dead <laughs> So here we go. So you can grab these jungle stars. There are two of them we need in order to get out of this room and we only gain access to them after pulling the lever. So we can't pull them before we pull the lever. So you have to get it under pressure. So out of maybe the five times I tried this, um, I only killed the wraith three times. Uh, the very first time was such a fluke. Well, no, the first two times were a fluke. You know, now I've said it, you've seen even the third time was a fluke. So you just can't d determine how to kill the wraith. But the two receptacles for the jungle stars are also in the room somewhere. So I've just placed the first one. And then the next one is a long this wall where the lever is along the same wall so if you've made it this far you are almost not yet but almost home free so I would recommend saving before leaving the room because we have yet more raids and another sea hag but it's possible not to take any more damage from this point so rush on in aim for the left and there's a pit of water you're gonna jump down well not a well, it's, you know, you know. So be on the very edge, kind of as I was, and there we go, you'll land in the water and get out immediately. So I did take a bit too much damage, but I'm still fine. So I stumbled on my words a bit, I was that excited. <laughs> so reminder, this is not live commentary, so we've already killed a wraith. So you do want to just come to this water and just jump around, try and get the wraith to land in the water, because it follows your motion, you jump up, it follows you up. So that's what I'm doing by jumping, and I messed up my buttons. I was killed by fumble fingers. So back through, so as I was trying to say, when you get to the edge of the pit you want to very very lightly tap the forward button because Lara actually moves forward as she's falling down and there's a raised section in the water right here and you can get stuck there so just do your best jump off the slope to save stumbling and just keep jumping around in a circle one dive for height <laughs> just there. So I think one of them's already gone. So I do keep stopping because, well, by accident basically, but now both of those are gone. I'm just gonna kill that last sea hag for my own satisfaction. So at this point, for God's sake, don't fall in. <laughs> do not fall in this water. Yeah, gonna save in case I fall in. Because you know when it's that close to the end, you're going to make a mistake. Okie dokie. So now let me show you what's in this section. So we are home free, there is nothing that can kill you. So up here there's this gate that we want to open and inside there's another gate that needs a key. You can just see on the left side there's a keyhole and you can probably just make out also that there is a snake stone in that room. So we want to pull two levers in order to open the first gate. So one lever is right in the corner just here. Okay, so it's shown as the gate, so Tomb Raider logic tells us that we need to pull another lever. 
So head on back to where I was hopping around in the water and then continue exploring this lower section. I don't know what I was thinking just then. I needed to turn round. <laughs> I might have been looking for the lever actually. I forgot where it was, but it's right there up on the wall. So to get there we just need to do a series of jumps on some flat tiles. And they're actually pretty difficult to see, they blend in quite well. And the next one just in the corner. And the next one I don't think I saw. I think I tried to run and jump to the next one even though it's far away. Yeah, so let's try again back from the start. Okay, let's not mess up this jump this time. Actually aim for the correct block, there we go. And then run and jump to the lever. And the gate is open. But don't forget there is a second gate that needs a key. So the key is in this area, it's actually right behind this waterfall. There it is. So now I'll rush on over. And there's the door that uh, needs the snake stone once we find it. So that's where we're going to leave. So this has actually been quite exciting to watch black, uh, watch back, just to see that I've not used any med packs, and it's been quite an achievement. I'm actually really proud of managing this. <laughs> Here we go, use the key, come on in, and here is the snake stone that we're going to use to get out of this section. So we've got the calming Tomb Raider music of calm. Because we're at the end. So just jump up the slope. We can use this. Okay, and before we head on in, let's have a look at the statistics. No med packs have been used. I am so proud that I've managed this because it's not easy. Okay, and we've got a new level there, and we're actually back in the Lost Caves now. So, this gate is at the start of the Lost Caves, and here we are. So, that's what that gate was for. So, now we've actually done everything here. So we're just going to head straight back through to the further section. We're going to actually head to the helicopter because we are finished. So one thing I found disappointing is that you don't actually pick up an item from the bonus level. There's no sort of trinket that Lara can take home with her. So that feels like it's a bit of a bummer. But it was a really nice level. It's been a long level, even though it's been in an enclosed area, so that's been quite cool. But we have done it. So at this point, if you didn't pick up the gold key, you'll need that now so that you can leave. So that's in the room over there. So we actually used the torch to light the brazier to open that room. You see the gold keyhole, this is where the gold key will be used. So come on through and this is the end.
Here we go, head towards the helicopter. And that is it. So this is not something I recommend if you don't have the patience for it. But it is actually really satisfying. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Take it easy.